come to daddy. But you're not missing out. I want my money back. Mm, another beautiful Monday morning, starting off with a fresh batch of crumble cookies. And this week's pretty damn special because we have the Halloween edition. I'm super stoked and excited for this. Because honestly, there's no better way to start the week with crumble cookies. If you know me, I love carbs, an absolute carb connoisseur. I don't like candy, I don't like chocolate, but I'm an absolute fiend for pastries and stuff. And the thing is though, as someone who kind of cares about my fitness and how I look overall in general, I like making sure that the pastries and the food I eat are worth the calories. So stick around to see which ones are Chan Club approved and see which ones are worth your calories and your money. This is the dirt cake cookie, special Halloween edition. You can see the gummy worm on there. It's very flaky, well toasted. It's not as heavy as the other chocolate chip cookies. Chocolate scents, and I, and I smell the gummy worm. The gummy worm is actually what I smell the most on this, surprisingly. So this is coated in cookies and cream crumb and topped with a chocolate fudge. Mmm. <laughs> First impressions, lots of crumbs from that chocolate crumb. It's, uh, it's not chewy, it's more of like a crispy cookie. I expected, to be the, I expected the cookie to be a little bit more brownie-like, but this one was just very much chocolate cookie, chocolate fudge, chocolate crumbs, add a gummy worm. Honestly, I'm personally not a fan because I'm not a huge fan of gummy worms and candy. I just don't think that flavor matches well. It looks really pretty. I think kids will love it just because, you know, there's a gummy worm on a cookie. What's a better combo than that? But I give it like a six, maybe a five, five and a half out of 10. Not Chan Club approved. The vanilla sugar Halloween cookie. And I really wanna show you the back. So it's got all these orange and black sprinkles and it's topped with the vanilla buttercream frosting. This bad boy is heavy, let me tell you. And I'm pretty excited for this. I usually like all the sugar cookie birthday cake type variations, so. Mmm, that buttercream frosting. I think I recognize this. It reminds me, it's giving a little bit of birthday cake and the buttercream pancake from the previous week. Mmm. Mmm. The buttercream, it like, it's a thick coating of ice cream. So it's actually not a very creamy ice, icing. Um, it's like a thicker, colder icing. But the little sprinkles, they're all inside the cookie and they give an extra crunch. So I really like that crunch. This one deserves a second bite. The icing's like thick and sweet on top, but the cookie itself is kind of gooey. And then with that gooey cookie, you're getting all these little crunchy sprinkles in between. I'm a fan. Definitely gets an eight out of 10. Chan Club approved. I have a pretty high standards for these uh, pastries because look, these are, these are pretty calorie heavy and they're expensive, right? You're paying like four or five dollars per cookie. So, I mean, you gotta make sure you're, it, it's worth it, really. <laughs> Chocolate peanut butter pie. It's giving the top of a muffin and cupcake. <laughs> so it's definitely a brownie cookie base. I know this is gonna be soft and gooey. It's not hard at all. Something I noticed is it's less of a cookie. It's got like a perfect shape to it. It was kind of, it's gotten caught like this tart molding. The smell, everything to it is definitely brownie. You get a strong peanut butter scent from all the crumbs on top. Let's give it a bite. Mmm. The icing on top is actually so strong. It's a peanut butter filling. And that's honestly what I tasted more than anything. The brownie cookie base, I really didn't taste it much at all. This, my, the first thing that came into my head after the first bite was a Reese's peanut butter cup. So if you like Reese's peanut butter cups, this is the one for you. I'm not a huge fan. I give it a seven out of 10. I would say it's pretty, it's good, but it's not great. Peanut butter crisp featuring Butterfingers. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I had a Butterfinger, but right away this cookie, very toasted, it's got that perfect flaky edges to it. And then it has a very light drizzle of this peanut butter. 
Mm. Off the bat, I like the smell. It's, it's got the traditional cookie, chocolate chip cookie smell. And I don't get strong senses of the peanut butter and the chocolate, which I was getting from all the other cookies. Mmm! Come to daddy. Oh my god. If you see that middle, it's got that super chewy, glutinous bite. It's so gooey and moist inside. Like the outside is perfectly flaky, toasted, crispy, and then you get to the center and the middle, and it's got like the perfect goo to it. And then the toppings and the, the featuring of the Butterfinger, I think is perfect. The features should never take over, right? It's got that perfect good cookie base to it, and the toppings are just giving it a little extra flavor. Nine out of 10 would buy six of these and eat them all in one sitting. I, I think so far, the reason why I like this the best is because the cookie base is just really good. And honestly, the cookie base has to be good before the toppings. I'm not a huge fan of like eating the cookie just for the toppings. And then they just go well together, like this combination. So this is this week's mystery cookie that I picked up from the store that I usually get it from. Um, I think they have this running like Monday through Wednesday, and then even at that store, they'll, they'll change it. But if you go on the Crumble Cookie app, you can look up the stores through your profile, stores near you, and then they'll show you which store is doing which mystery cookie. So if you have the Butterfinger mystery cookie near you, definitely go get that one. So both of these are peanut butter. But the difference is this one has like a very creamy, it, it's, it's almost too rich. And the cookie itself is rich, right? So you're just getting a bunch of like but melted butter in your mouth and, and it's almost too much. Whereas this one, it was very crunchy on the outside, but gooey on the inside. And then the topics weren't overdoing it. So it was like a hint of peanut butter. Whereas the other one was literally like butter with peanut butter, melted mashed together, rich creaminess in your mouth. I swear I'm describing cookies right now, not something else. <laughs> Where's the cream cheese? Look at this was what I was supposed to get. The pumpkin roll. This is what I got. I want my money back. <laughs> well, this is supposed to be the pumpkin roll with cream cheese on top. It looks like a thick muffin top, basically. I am pretty basic and like pumpkin stuff, but pumpkin has been overplayed and there's just pumpkin everything now and they're not doing it well. But let's see if Crumble's at least doing the Crumble pumpkin cookie well. Less of a cookie, more of like a muffin top. Very bready. It's like a pumpkin spice loaf bread. But you see these dark spots on the cookie? They're kind of like, they're like little crunchy sugar bites. It's like caramelized pumpkin sugar. And I think those are the bites that make it good. I'm imagining the cream cheese frosting on top. And with that extra plus one, this is gonna get six out of 10. It's honestly less of a cookie. It's more of like a pumpkin muffin top. The semi-sweet chocolate chunk. Look how thick. Thick that bad boy is. I mean, what can I say? If you're looking for the classic, thick, chewy, perfectly moist chocolate chip cookie, this one's it. Reminds me of Levain Bakery. You can't go wrong, can't go wrong. So out of this week's batch, if I had to get two cookies, this mystery cookie, Peanut Butter Crisp featuring Butterfinger and the Vanilla Sugar Halloween themed cookie are my top two favorite cookies of this week. They are definitely Chan Club approved. And look, I know I graded some of the other peanut butter ones like this one pretty harsh, but look, I like peanut butter. I just don't think it makes for a great cookie. It's too much, it's too rich, too buttery. The dirt cake. Great idea, I think poor execution. It just doesn't go well together. There's nothing special about it. Pumpkin, I mean, this is a pumpkin muffin top. Just go, just go buy a pumpkin muffin. Thanks for watching. I'm eating the new batch of crumble cookies every Monday, so stay tuned. And 
I got to burn these off. So, you know, if you're interested to know how to burn these off and grow your body, then follow along for some fitness content too. Honestly, this week's so disappointing compared to last week. Maybe I had high expectations because these are supposed to be like special edition Halloween treats, but I don't know. Like taste comes first, right? Looking pretty is one thing, but it's got to taste good. But I'm going to keep biting into my favorite.